Dear friends of Unbox, welcome back and thank you for the 500 subscribers. This channel is going ever so well and I am ever so thankful for all of you guys to be here and witness what we are doing. I am unboxing stuff each and every day I can and uh, today we are going to talk about Abu Garcia. Abu Garcia Reels, we are talking Revo Winch 3.0 4.8 gear ratio. This is a reel which is supposed to pack so much new technology and advanced technology that I really hope it's worth the 159 euros I paid for it. It's a reel which we can use as a spinning reel for lure fishing and at the same time in my opinion can be used for jigging uh, from our little boats let's talk about 20 to 50 meters deep with little jigs so maybe we can catch something even bigger this Abu Garcia reel has nine uh, bearings a 4.8 gear ratio 25 inches or 67 centimeters uh, of line retrieved for each and every turn 5.2 kilograms or 11.4 ounces of maximum drag, 7.9 ounces or 224 grams of weight, and it can spool up to 150 meters of 0.28 nylon or 135 meters of 0.12 braid. So it's quite deep and it's gonna be able um, to be used for different situations. In my opinion, this reel can be a good one even if you are light feeding. So if you are fishing, you know, feeder fishing in a little uh, commercial pond, if you are feeder fishing for little carps. Opening the package, I already noticed this is ever so beautiful. It's not the usual flimsy little package, which is not even cardboard. Sometimes it's just plain paper and I don't really like it. This kind of packaging looks like a present, makes it look more interesting, makes it look way better um, commercialized and I love it. So thank you Abu Garcia for this. It makes our reels way more interesting. So, even from this kind of stuff, you understand that Abu Garcia is putting quite an effort on the Revo series. Let's go on and see what's on the side of our little package. So, we got the different languages, okay? Let's try to see what's going on in here. 8 stainless steel HPCR bearings plus 1 roller bearing. Asymmetrical body design, V rotor design, lightweight V spool design, rocket line management system, rocket spool lip design, so we are supposed to be casting farther than usual, machine aluminium braid ready to spool, ready spool, I'm sorry, so it's a spool which can contain easily braid, and I'm gonna show you why. Carbon matrix drag system, so we got a carbon drag system. Aluminum handle with co-molded soft touch knobs, and they are really soft, guys. AMD2 gearing system, stainless steel main shaft and components, slow oscillation, which gear ratio. So, so the winch is basically means 4.8. It's quite low for it to be a lure fishing reel, but trust me, it packs enough power and enough speed to retrieve any kind of lure in the perfect weight. These, well, at least in Italy, you know, they say it's designed, as you can see, for swim baits and crank baits, at least little crank baits. In my opinion, it's the perfect reel for a little bit of everything. Let's go on and open up our package completely. We are talking machined aluminium handle. The Revo writing is very beautiful. 
we got the usual Abu Garcia symbol on the side of the handle printed up also on the knob. The knob is very soft. I believe it's one of the softest one I have ever tried and it seems to be very comfortable between your fingers. I was expecting for this kind of models for a fighting knob. As you know, sometimes even the die was the A ARK, for example, have the round aluminum knob or the fighting T knob, you know. But to be honest, this knob is still ever so comfortable, which, you know, it doesn't make me regret about not having a big fighting knob. This is fine, this is beautiful. So, as soft as it is, it gives you the impression of something which is well taken care of during the engineering. The handle is light, well constructed, and as you can see, it's threaded, so it goes right onto the crown of the main gear. Let's go on and see the rest of the box. Okay. Let's see if we have the usual little plastic PE washers that we can put under the spool in order to even out the spooling of the braid or nylon. We got three of them already on the um, spool support on the pignon. We got one or two. So we got space, you know, in order to make our line spooling a little better and precise. Inside the box, we got the warranty card. Very nice. Even the little QR code. Very lovely. Let's go on and unpackage this little beast. Um, let me weigh it, first of all, with the handle and without the handle. And then I want to see how heavy is the little spool. Now, the first thing I've noticed opening up this beautiful reel is that they even had the care and the thought of putting this little band, it's a felt band, around the rotor and around the foot of the reel so the rotor wouldn't move too much inside the box. I really appreciate this kind of care and really makes me feel that this reel is not only well engineering but also well packaged and well taken care of under every single aspect. Guys, this looks special. Matte black, the Revo writing on the back of the foot, which is changing colors, as you can see, from red to yellowish to greenish. Revo white writing on the top of the foot, and the winch symbol at the bottom of the body. The body is made of an alloy, so it's not plastic, it's not graphite, nothing like that. And as you can feel with your touch, this one is cold enough for it to, you know, make you feel the quality of the metal. This is not cheap plastic, this is not cheap graphite, this is something good. We got a well-machined little wheel over here covering the gear package and inside I can already notice the little threading for the handle. Every single screw on this reel is an X screw. Even the one on the little uh, line guide. Let's see about the weight of this reel without the handle. Okay, so we go from 0 to 197.99. Let's see a little more. It's 200 grams almost. It's 0.2 shy, you know, but 
we are talking about 200 grams of very well machined material. Let's put our little handle on. Okay. Perfect. Wow, guys, it's ever so smooth. You can really feel the quality of the bearings here. Ever so smooth. Let's weigh it now with the handle. 225.8 is supposed to be around 224 so it's perfect right there as you can see we got care even in the little details because we got the winch writing right on the bail the Abu Garcia little symbol and writing on the spool the only thing in my opinion this is missing a little bit it would be more measurements about braid or mono because what if I don't want to use 0.28 I gotta do some math here okay but still this is you know just something little 4.8 the gear ratio and listen to this guys what a nice music lovely we are talking about something which is a very nice piece of equipment and even though I paid 149 for it I am ever so satisfied this one is a reel which could be priced so much higher because of how light and well constructed it is it's well machined I don't see any defect on the body or the rotor this is the V rotor by the way as you can see it's quite different from any other reel around it's per first of all the the thing that really hits me is that the line is parallel to the foot and to the fishing rod as it goes out of the spool i know this is something which shimano and i are doing I know it's nothing new, but on this model and this particular design, you can really see how parallel the spool is confronting it to the fishing rod, which would be here, or the foot. So it's perfectly parallel and, well, this one will help the casting so much. Let's open the spool up because I want to see this carbon matrix. Okay drag so here we got the little clicker for the drag and already we have you can see how smooth it is we have one of the nine bearings I hope you can appreciate from this video how beautifully made it is because this is ever so nicely designed and crafted it's such a beautiful reel the clicking is good everywhere very nice very springy and there is no way you can have an accident casting this reel because in order to close the bell you have to do it on purpose there is no way you can close it by mistake so no casting problems here let's see the spool how much does it weight we are talking 42.3 at the first one yeah it's 42 grams look how well designed it is so they say it's designed for the braid and I do believe this is gonna cast braid farther uh, braid and mono farther than usual because of this v design right here and also very nicely tactical holes on the lip of the spool and i do believe they are made in order to always have a dry spool without water accumulating here because obviously it's gonna be closed by the drag cap but well some humidity can still get 
inside this little rim. So very nice by Abu Garcia making these holes here and here. So all the humidity goes away and they lightened up the spool also by making this very nice design. Something I love about this spool and I would never imagine would have been here. It's the little spring behind the line clip and this makes uh, this beautiful reel suitable for light feeder because obviously you can clip the line and you will be safe. It's not a cheap line spool. You know, a lot of times, even Daiwa have these little cheap uh, line clips, which, you know, they, they break your line. They make an indentation in your mono. So this one seems to be suitable for you to even handle some light feeder castings with a light feeder and it will not break. I don't know if it's metal, I hope it is. The only thing I know, it looks beautiful and it seems to perform really, really well. Let's open up the drag bay. So the drag system is supposed to handle, if I'm not mistaken, around six kilos. Let me see. So it's able to withstand 5.2 kilos. Well, still good. Let's open this one up and check out the carbon matrix system. Sorry if I put my finger right on it, but these little springs are little. So if you make a mistake, they will fly everywhere in your room and you will lose them. Okay, let's pop this out. So we got a containing, a retaining disc made in metal. Let's put it back. And now we got the carbon matrix. I can already tell you the design on this little disc. It's quite different from you. Got a little bit of a flower design, which don't get me wrong, I like it, but I thought it was gonna be a regular disc. But this one is designed to stay put where it is so it's not gonna spin inside the little drag bay let's go on and see what what else it's inside there is another washer made in metal it could be zinc it could be steel probably steel and then we got a little oiled felt and they told me basically every felt inside the drag it's oiled so it doesn't get burned when a very heavy fish is pulling and uh, well it, it helps the the little felt discs not to get consumed too much so that's why they are very much oiled let's close this up so let's go with the metal let's go with our little carbon matrix which is always difficult to put back okay carbon matrix let's go with our metal covering washer and let's try to put back our little spring see if I can get it back without destroying my hands or losing it somewhere all right it's always difficult guys please do not attempt this at all now I'm obviously joking guys but putting back this kind of little retaining um, springs it's always a little difficult because you can lose them so please if you open up your drugs be careful for it not to spring in your face first of all or somewhere you're gonna lose it i strongly advise you never to dismantle uh, or disassemble sorry one of these spools outside your home because if you lose this one on the ground or on the beach there is no way you're gonna get it back these springs fly so far, it's unbelievable. All right, Last let time. me put it back on my reel. Okay, and let's close the cap. Now, how fast is the winch drag? Let me show you guys. Let me close it up completely. So. This is completely closed, okay. 
let's regulate this one so we can see how many turns it gets me so let's go with one complete turn still very stiff two complete turns a little softer okay so it's not super fast but it's not super slow either okay it takes two to three turns to close it completely so that you can really in a big fish or you know leave some line to hit if you wanted to get a little um, tired before really knitting. The clicking sound is right on point. I can really feel the Abu Garcia quality on this one, guys. 159, I bought it on uh, Bus Store Italy, which is a very good website in Italy, and I think it's accessible to every country in Europe, basically, so I put it right here. And I haven't had any discount on this reel. I basically, you know, I paid it. So this is a real uh, review, a real unboxing. Uh, I am not paid to say good things about the Revo Winch or the website. The only thing I can say, this is well spent money. Because for 159 I got a reel which is completely made of a beautifully light alloy, very rigid, very well designed and engineered, very well made, not even a little defect in either the paint or the casting or the engineering. This looks even perfectly assembled even though it's made in China, you can really appreciate it's not cheaply made. It's made by good professionals very carefully and it looks quality. It feels a lot of bang for the buck. It's for cranking, it's for swim baits, but it's a very quality reel for somebody who goes each and every week or each and every month at least two or three times for a fishing trip. I would never advise you to buy this reel if you are just a beginner, but if you are an intermediate, if you are an advanced and you know what you're doing and you know you're gonna use this one, go for it. 159, it's an amazing price and you should go for it. So guys, once again, much love from Unboxo. Thank you, thank you for being with me, thank you for the 500 subscribers, see you very soon and goodbye from Unboxo.